Hello and welcome to Luminex. In this video we will show how to set up redundant DMX ports on Luminodes. We have four moving lights here, all connected to the same DMX line and the console running a simple chase. When we go into the Luminode web UI, we set up process engine 1 as an artnet to DMX forwarder and we assign DMX ports 1 and 2 as outputs for this process engine. We can then go to the DMX RDM settings and set DMX port 2 as a redundant port. This will be indicated by the DMX output LED turning purple, both in the web UI and on the physical device, indicating that the output is set as a redundant port. We will now connect a DMX cable with a male-to-male -male converter from the last device back to port 2. Port 1 will now be transmitting DMX and port 2, our redundant DMX port, will be in a listening mode, receiving the DMX signal from the last fixture. When we interrupt the DMX cable between fixture 2 and 3, as we can do here, port 2 will no longer be receiving DMX and within about 2 DMX frames it will now start transmitting the same DMX data as port 1, sending DMX data to the DMX fixtures from the other side of the DMX line. As you can see, the fixtures are still working as before. When we reconnect our DMX cable between fixture 2 and 3, port 2 will detect the DMX data and it returns to a listening state, indicated by a solid purple LED. The same thing can be done by using DMX ports from another Lumi node. The only thing to keep in mind but to make sure that they are sending the same DMX universe, obviously, and that the DMX timing settings of the two nodes are the same. Again, we configure our process engines to forward the universe to a DMX port on both Lumi nodes. And for the Lumi node with a redundant output, we set up the DMX ports as redundant. Again, the fixtures will receive DMX data coming from the primary Lumi node, and the redundant DMX port is in a listening state indicated by the solid purple LED. When we interrupt the DMX flow between fixtures 2 and 3, we will see that the redundant DMX port is now detecting the loss of the DMX and transmitting DMX to fixtures 3 and 4 indicated with a flashing purple LED. When we reconnect the cable between fixtures 2 and 3, our redundant port returns to a listening state. This will also work in the event where we would lose power to our primary luminode, for example. When I unplug the power cable, the redundant port immediately takes over and the backup node starts transmitting DMX. So in conclusion, the DMX redundancy feature of the luminode allows the show to go on, not only in case of the failure of a node, but it also makes sure DMX keeps on flowing in case of disconnected or cut cables. Thank you for watching and we will be back soon with more videos on Luminex products.